Hey guys, it's going to start this video out a little bit different. Usually I got like the highlights and the best moments of what went down in the video, but the last couple of weeks, the Moto family has been mourning the loss of one of our own. Never had the privilege of meeting Mike Walker, but unfortunately at a GT Arena Cross a couple of weeks ago, Mike Walker sadly lost his life. And uh, even though I've never met him, don't know him, in motocross, we all are family, whether we know each other or not. Everybody has each other's backs and uh, we all stick together as a Moto family. So my thoughts and prayers are with the family of Mike Walker, the friends, everybody who um, unfortunately had to witness that incident at the event. I can actually remember when I was about 16 at the Minios, um, I had a bad moto, kind of was sulking to the bleachers and went and watched the other divisions of my class and um, ended up watching Jan Skrodzicki do a huge endo and he ended up passing away from it. So kind of right then and there, even at like 16, I just you know, it just, it just shows you that life is a lot more important than a result or anything that you can do on a dirt bike. And Mike, rest in peace um, to Mike's family, friends, everybody. Um, my thoughts and prayers are forever with you guys. And I've got the Go, his GoFundMe um, linked in my description. And uh, if you guys are in a position to do anything to help one of our own, um, it would be awesome if y'all would do so. so. Life is short. You never know how long you're going to be here. So make sure you tell the people that are close to you, you love them, give them a hug and just enjoy your life as much as you can while you're here because you never know when it can be taken away from you. I appreciate you guys hopefully listening to what I had to say about our fallen friend and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Rest in peace, Mike. YouTube, how we doing? It's Matty B. Welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. We got the two smoke in the back of the Dakota. Check engine light on. All signs are go. We're headed back to Chatterheim for another night, excuse me, another day of some Moonlight Arena Crash action. I think we actually got a couple riders today in my classes, so it should be a little bit more fun, a little bit more action, and just gonna get some more practice on these indoor conditions, try to be a safer, smarter rider, no choice. It's like a high of 28 degrees today, frozen tundra, Arena Crash National, so you guys know I went full local again. Drove to the track of my gear. This video is sponsored by the best gear on the market. Fox Racing. Practice started over an hour ago. We're just now pulling up, so I think we might have missed it. Might get some late practice laps, might not. Honestly, not worried about it. One hour later. Had a couple laps of late practice, had almost no rear brake, saw that I was pretty much out of fluid, so filled it up with fluid and was trying to bleed it and just couldn't get anywhere. I felt like I was pissing in the wind, just pumping and uh, my back brakes were like completely gone. So I missed one of my heat races and finally got it going, got one of the heat races in. <laughs>
That's a wrap. A weekend of Moonlight Indoor Arena Crash Nationals is finished up. Uh, it was a pretty good weekend. I had some fun. Just feeling a little better on the bike and just trying to make a little bit of progress with my comfort. So um, all signs are looking up right now, which is cool. Um, missed the 450 heat race, so I got last gate pick for that. I ended up winning that main. And um, this is actually like one of the funniest things I've maybe ever heard somebody complain about. Um, the guy who got second, I was protested by because I didn't ride the heat race, even though it's like in the rules that you can just ride the main there was only four of us so it's not like i had to qualify but yeah they complain try to protest me because i didn't race the heat race it's an interesting strategy whenever you get beat complaining about something instead of just trying to better yourself it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for them but hey whatever floats their boat and just to add to the saga apparently according to them we have beef and I didn't even know anything about it. This is news to me. I'm not much of a beef guy. I'm just trying to race my dirt bike. No choice. The last 250 Pro Moto, we ran with a couple other classes and somebody on a 125 like kind of gagged the start on me. And I mean, I we were in different classes, so I wasn't going to run into them or do anything stupid. So I just tried to, to wait until I had a good clean opening and made a pass and just had some fun. So it's it's been really a really good time getting back on the gate the last two weekends, starting to feel a little bit more like myself. And I'm really excited uh, how I've been building myself up to get back to these victory sports races. Hopefully I got a lot more to give for those last uh, four rounds in Tennessee coming up in February. But uh, yeah, that's a wrap for today. Appreciate you guys watching and tuning in, following along with me. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, now time to watch some San Diego Supercross for another possible Mud National. Catch you guys next time. No choice.